All right, this is the last uh, video of this uh, presentation um, on the basics of running the plasma ball. There is so much more I can tell you. Um, and I'll have a few minutes to tell you uh, some of those so much more um, after I do a little demonstration. So I said that zero, zero, zero is going to be equal to a half a second. Uh, not a half a second, a half a minute, excuse me. So I'm going to skip back to setup equals zero. I'm going to, I like the first one the most, uh, number one, because I, I use Shulman's resonance all the time. So I'm dialing, I'm in frequency reads. I just dialed in one. I'm going to go change my protocol back to simple. Right now it's in it's in mode three. I'm going to change it back to simple. It's now back to simple. I'm going to capture everything. That includes the time that I had set just a few seconds ago, hopefully, by starting and stopping. I'm going to go just make sure my time is still zero. Yep, still zero. Still 180 seconds. Still zero minutes. And go back to number zero. By the way, if I didn't say it, always start your protocol programs you're running, whether you're running simple protocol mode or sweep mode, always start from setup equals zero. Because setup equals zero will actually run the whole protocol or sweep mode. If you're in step equals one, it won't run a whole program sequence. It will only set that frequency when you saw me stop and start. So you have to go back to setup equals zero to actually run a program. I'm in setup equals zero. I'm at frequency reads equals one, so I'm going to read the very displayed frequency right now. Boy, that's good. It's, I love how clear those numbers are. I'm going to just leave that. I know half of them are off the screen, but I'm going to leave that. And I'm going to press the start button and back up the camera a little bit so you can see it flashing. So the plasma ball is flashing, running um, 34,922 hertz as a primary and turning it on and off 7.83 times a second. If I flip the switch up, watch the difference. I've already shown you this in a... Now it's not gating at all. It's just running the plasma. Oops. Oh, it's 30 seconds just happened. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it stopped. It stopped. 30 seconds was up. So now, so now you know that 000 equals 30. I don't have to explain that any further. And of course, if I wanted to continue again, I could just press the start button. And if I don't pay attention, all of a sudden it'll be 30 seconds again. Now, if I had put in a minute, 10 minutes, or 20 minutes, it would run that long. Because 30 seconds was much shorter than 180 seconds, it stopped when it said the program was uh, time ran out. If I wanted to run a protocol for three minutes, got to have your program time be longer than three minutes to actually run that frequency for three minutes. I know that's just so common sense. I'm just, um, oh, there goes 30 seconds again. Um, you want to time it? So get your clocks out. <laughs> get your stopwatches out. <laughs> okay, while I'm here, I have an opportunity to talk about a few other things. I have never explained all the things you can do with a plasma ball. There are videos all over the internet telling you the various things that you can do with a plasma ball and I'm going to just name a few. You can, use, you can help plants grow faster. You can ward off uh, pests. You can help plants or not help plants. You can also make them grow slower. And it is all dependent upon the frequency mode or frequencies that you're using. Um, and sweep mode is used with the Spooky for analysis and so you can find um, if you have some symptom or something like that. It's intended 
down the road to have a separate unit that will work with this plasma ball that will do pretty much diagnose your heartbeat and your oxygen. I just bought the chips, to, uh, they, they just came in the mail today. Your heartbeat, uh, your oxygen consumption, uh, some very basic, your, your galvanonomic uh, response, that's the conductivity of your skin. And they will actually respond to different frequencies. And then you have an idea that that frequency could be something that you need to get or something you want to stay away from. I don't know if anybody has heard of Elizabeth Roucher. I know a lot of people have, but I don't know if the whole audience that's watching this video has. Dr. Roucher um, did several videos. Um, she got pretty much suppressed. She's still around. You don't hear much of her, but she's still out there. And she pointed out that there are also bad frequencies. Not all frequencies are good. I'm going to tell you that when you do a sweep and you feel something, it might not be a frequency that's diagnosing a problem that you want to take care of. It could just be hitting a sensitivity that your physiology is uh, sensitive to. And running that frequency could do more harm than good. So when you play around with the plasma ball and jump from frequency to frequency and so forth like that, be aware of not all frequencies are good and not all frequencies are bad. I personally think there's more frequencies that are good than there are bad, but who knows? I wish that was the way of the world. I would like to think that there's more good in the world than there's bad, but see what's happening right now, I have no idea. I have no idea. So besides working with plants, you can also do things like uh, work with um, life forms. Uh, you can go down to your toy store and buy sea monkeys. And different frequencies will help promote them to grow faster and larger and so forth. And certain frequencies will inhibit them from growing at all. Now sea monkeys are, uh, is a name for um, shrimp. It's a form of a shrimp. And they're sold in packages with a little aquarium, little tiny, tiny thing. Um, and it's for kids so they can actually cultivate a life form. In this case, um, uh, little tiny shrimp, tiny, tiny, tiny shrimp. And what's interesting about these things, they could be dried out and sit in a package for thousands of years. I don't know if thousands or not, but a long time. And then added water to that package and all of a sudden they'll start to come back to life. Life is just totally amazing. Just absolutely, totally amazing. So I'm not saying that um, you can cure things or fix things. I'm saying that you can affect uh, life forms in lots and lots of ways. And I think a lot of you are already there, uh, already know what I'm talking about. So you not only can help yourself uh, by trying to suppress pathogens, viruses, uh, germs and so forth. Um, you want to get yourself rid of ants that are wandering through your kitchen. There's frequencies that will keep the ants away from the plasma ball. I don't know what they are. I know I'm going to get all sorts of email. Well, what are they, Steve? I want to know. <laughs> I don't have one. I was just using that as a particular example. There are frequencies that will kill paramecium from pond water. And that's more than just a pathogen. That's a pretty huge, uh, uh, I know you have to look at it under a microscope. They're called water fleas also, parameciums. You can look that up. Um, they're rather big. Um, with a microscope, you can see them swimming around in pond water and so forth. Uh, John Bedini did some experiments and he, he zapped quite a few of them uh, by vibrating a wire at a particular frequency inside the water pond that they were, or the water droplet, and they puffed. They went kaput. They, uh, they cease to uh, be alive. So all these things that you, I'm sure you know, but there's things that you probably are not aware of that I'm going to continue talking about. You can also affect your mental disposition, your health, uh, mental health. You can actually change it. Um, I've done it with myself many, many times. There are frequencies that just make me feel weird. I just don't like it. Um, and there's frequencies that sort of relax me. 
I am not a, I'm not Elizabeth Rauscher. Uh, she would not define the frequencies, and neither am I going to. Dr. Elizabeth Rauscher. She would not define the frequencies, and neither am I going to. Um, she was warned not to, by I, according to a video I watched one time. <coughs> Excuse me. COVID. <coughs> Excuse me, COVID. Uh-oh. <laughs> Better run the spooky protocol for COVID, huh? Um, at any rate, uh, I'm talking too much. That's why I'm getting tickled in my throat. So I think that's long enough. This is a 10-minute video here. Please read the PDF. It will support most of what I said. I've covered the basics. I haven't covered everything, but I've covered the basics. And what you know now, know, know now you could actually run the plasma uh, ball from its internal settings um, probably rather easily. And you can always run it like you ran or like the videos show how to run the plain 6-inch plasma ball. So with that, I hope you all enjoy. Um, just a couple of more things that just came to my mind. Um, I'm still testing. I'm still developing software. I'm going to turn this off and show you something in the camera. Um, hopefully you can see it. Yep, there you can see it. That is a port by which you can turn around and plug in a cable and reprogram the um, Arduino. Those of you who have the expertise and capability of doing so, um, it's a wonderful um, uh, thing to be able to do because you will be able to stay along with some of the improvements that I'll make available. I will not um, pay for shipping back and forth to have somebody say, please upgrade my, my plasma ball. Um, I'm giving the plasma ball away as it is. Uh, between the labor costs, I actually hire people to help me, or I, hire, I have one person that helps me. I've actually hired other people on and off to help me. My own time and everything, plus, um, as it's stated in the PDF, there's about $75 worth of components in this baby. Um, there's no profit. I, I'm not doing this for the money. The uh, price listed on the website for the past month was $159. I'm jumping that to 179. There were a couple people who actually sent me notification they were interested. I'll hold that price 159 for them. Um, but the rest of the world, it's going to be 179 for a completely assembled unit. Uh, the 159 has to be scratched. Since there's $75 in components, most of it is in the board. The board, a blank board, costs me 15 bucks right now. I know I can get all these prices down, but I'm doing small quantities. When you're doing small quantities, you're not getting big volume discounts. Um, and I'm not going to ship this overseas right away. The reason being is I can't support overseas people as easily as I can support people in the continental USA. Uh, so I'll ship to Hawaii, I'll ship to Alaska. Um, I'm in Hawaii, but I'm not in Alaska. Um, I'll ship to Puerto Rico, uh, it's a territory. But I'm, I'm not going to ship outside uh, the continental and its territories that I can easily ship to using U.S. mail. Uh, it's just too expensive, insurance and everything else, too timely. When I'm satisfied that we have a good product that uh, uh, people can handle and so forth, I'll open up sales to abroad. Okay, that's it. 13 minutes, 14 minute video. Everybody have yourself a great day and I hope this... Uh, these four videos work. Bye-bye.